Shoulder Stand on Rings. If you're an adult gymnastics skill seeker who wants to unlock the full shoulder stand on rings, here's how. It's best to master the shoulder stand on P-bars before you move to the rings. It's much easier to perform a shoulder stand on a stable surface than it is a dynamic one. You also want to master the advanced tuck shoulder stand on rings before you move to the full shoulder stand. To perform the full shoulder stand on the rings, start by standing directly under the rings. The ring straps should be vertical here. Now jump to ring support with straight arms and make sure you're not swinging around. Then move into a tuck L-sit. As you do this, focus on bringing the heels of your feet as close to your butt as possible. The next step is to move into an advanced tuck shoulder stand. To do this, lean the shoulders forward as you bend the elbows to move the shoulders down to be slightly forward of the rings. At the same time, maintain the tuck shape so the hips move back and up as the shoulders move forward and down. Squeeze your elbows inwards and actively push into the rings to control the movement. You want to keep your elbows close by your sides and feel that your triceps are touching the inside edge of your lats. Continue to lift the hips up until they're vertically stacked above the wrists and elbows. Only then can you open the angle between the torso and thighs to move from a tuck shape to the advanced tuck with the heels of your feet close to your glutes. This is a critical point to take note of. Contract your hamstrings and pull the heels of your feet in towards your glutes. You want the shoulders, hips and feet to be diagonally aligned. Notice how the forearms are perpendicular to the floor. The elbows are vertically stacked above the wrists. The shoulders are forward of the wrists and the upper arms are aligned with the torso angle. This is a set upper body position for both the advanced tuck and full shoulder stand. Another helpful tip is to find a focal point on the floor that you can fix your eyes on. Looking at a focal point will allow you to control the balance easier. From the advanced tuck shoulder stand, slowly start to extend the hips and knees at the same speed to straighten the legs. The feet must track along an imaginary diagonal line that keeps the shoulders, hips and feet aligned. If the feet move off this line, it becomes harder to sustain the balance. The trick is to extend the knees and hips at the same rate. Once the legs are straight, contract the quads and glutes, point the toes and keep your elbows pulled in as you hold the shoulder stand for the prescribed time. This can be anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. Then reverse the movement by flexing the knees and hips at the same rate to move back to the advanced tuck shoulder stand. Then pull the thighs down into a tight tuck shape as you transition from the tuck shoulder stand back to the tuck L sit. Finally, move back to the ring support before leaving the rings. Give it a try and see how you go. If you've got questions, please leave them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.